Welcome again and in this demo I'm going to show you a demonstration of a vehicle insurance management system is being good and I have a net JPA and uh, JSP and so it's following MBC architecture or this is a Maven application and uh, it's following complete MBC architecture we we'll talk about the specific tools and technology so according to the technology for the front end it's using JSP servlet uh, I'm sorry JSP and HTML and bootstrap and uh, so the backend is using a Spring Boot. It's a Spring Boot application, and to store the information, is using MySQL database, and these are the tables under the MySQL database. There are two types of role in the application: user role and admin role. So we'll log in and check the features and functionality. Now I'm going to show you how can you run the application and how can you operate it, and also in case you have taken already this project in from code one, we will do the setup with your machine. After that, you need to follow this application. You you need to follow this demo in order to execute the complete application. So how can you run this application? Once open your ID Eclipse, right click on this uh, vehicle insurance management application to Java file, right click on it and go to the next and it has a Java application. Uh, here is the option. So when you click on that, you what you will get, you will uh, be redirect on like it will start a server in a while. So you have to wait for your console. Your console log if you see and sometime it will launch the start the server automatically. So here we have a started server uh, on port number 8080. After that you can go over the resources, application or property file and we have a URL, the dummy URL uh, in, in a comment section. So just copy it and open it over your real time browser. So I have also close, I'm going to close other tabs and here I'm going to enter the URL in my browser. <coughs> when I hit the URL, it will work, and this is the home page. About this page is there, the contact page is there. Sign in and sign up also. So let's uh, if you are a new user or a customer, you can directly by filling up this detail, you can sign up into the application. And, and then here we have a sign in option. So in this I'm going to enter the credential of the admin and then admin can log in and perform the activity. So how we can I just going to enter the username password for the admin as I said the login button and now here I can check the user list where uh, like I can add a new user or whatever the registered user will be displayed here in this field I can add a new policy so here uh, we have a vehicle option so this is, is, is it's especially dependent on the vehicle insurance so there is only one option to add a vehicle and enter the name of the policy so I can say new policy policy for vehicle Price, let's say 1000. I'm going to keep the price as 1000. Enter the duration, let's say one year. I'm going to keep it a one year. ROI, let's say eight. And the rating, I'm going to say four. I'm going to say five rating. And the annual date, it can be 24 date. So it, should, it, it, it can be 06, 29, and 2024 for one year. And the description about the policy, we can type the text here. Click on the save. That policy after adding uh, the vehicle insurance policy will be displayed over here and we have a search option by search name category ROI you can go and go ahead it and if any customer purchase any policy the list will be displayed here uh, in case anyone add a feedback or some some, some raise a ticket it will be displayed over there this is the term and condition page we can add the term and conditions and feedbacks will be displayed over here my profile under the my profile the user can update its profile change password here we can change our password and now option so let's register as a new user and quickly buy a policy so we will understand the flow here <clears throat> so i'm just going to enter the dummy data so uh, first name middle name and, uh, last name username i'm just writing a valid username email password is already there contact number which needs to valid 10 digit phone number so it says uh, i think in DOV, I uh, just need to enter valid DOV. So, all of this enter mail, CD, address, that's it. When I hit the save button, the registered user is registered into my database. Now, from here, I can grab the uh, username, the password. So, this is a username that will be just saved. And if I click on the sign in, I can enter my username over here. And I'm going to enter the password as well. Click on the sign in button. 
here in the policy section i can check which policies available policies when i click on the view uh, i can the policy will be displayed over here so i can buy it if i want i can apply it so here what i need to do i need to enter the policy number so let's say i'm going to say uh, dd4 so let's say 45678 i'm going to just enter the vehicle number sorry and the first name the last name the email address so let's say i'm going to enter this random email contact number so this contact number dov again click on the save the policy will be saved but uh, here we need to process for the payment so we can click on the pay the pay paid uh, policy applied successfully and now this user has been done and this under the my profile my policy section user can check the policies for the apply if user want to add any feedback you can add the feedback and ticket any issue related to the policy they can add ticket list will be displayed over there term and conditions that is adding from the admin side will be displayed over there my profile change password and the form again if i'm logging then i'm going to log in as an admin so this new applied policy purchase policy will be displayed over here and the policy list <coughs> tickets also we can delete the records if you want edit or delete this option is there so that's it all about the vehicle policy management project in spring boot and have a night so if you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp uh, or skype or directly in the description box you will get the buy link so you can directly buy from there and in case you face any issue you can connect us for the support so we'll do the complete setup at your machine also before buying you have any question you can connect it with us so we'll help you to explain the things like how we can share the things with you and how you can set up and run the 